From freakish bugs with bizarre ways of laying eggs to the ugliest bug in the world, here are 12 of the strangest bugs ever. Number 12. Giant Long-Legged Katydid The Giant Long-Legged Katydid, or just the Giant Katydid for short, is one of the strangest bugs ever. It is the largest species of katydid in the entire world, and kind of looks like an enormous, completely green grasshopper. In fact, they are closely related to grasshoppers, so that explains their similarities. However, the Giant Katydid has super long antenna, and their wings look like leaves. This makes them stand out against the typical brown grasshopper, which has short antenna and wings folded over its back. You can find the giant katydid doing nothing in the daytime, as through most of the daylight hours they remain completely motionless, using their camouflage to avoid predators. They live in the forested mountain ranges of tropical Malaysia, and are basically invisible amongst the canopies of green leaves. At night though, the giant katydid uses its super long antenna to find leaves and small insects to eat, and to try and find a mate. You can hear the males at night making high-pitched noises as they try to signal a female. Number 11. Thorn Bug The thorn bug literally looks like a thorn. It looks like the spike from a rose bush or the spine of a thistle plant. It doesn't even look like this strange bug has a face or legs. It straight up just looks like a thorn, but it's pretty good camouflage, as thorn bugs are super tricky for birds or larger bugs to eat. Nobody wants to bite down on a nail, and that's what trying to eat a thorn bug would be like. There are a lot of different types of thorn bugs, but they all share the same features. They all have a giant thorn thing on their back. They are also widely distributed throughout the entire world, living on every continent except for Antarctica. What's really strange is when you see an entire group of thorn bugs covering a branch. They make the branch look like it's growing dozens and dozens of spikes, and this helps the entire group to remain safe from predators. It also stops birds from landing on the branch, as it appears that the branch is riddled with spikes. Number 10. Hercules Beetle The Hercules Beetle doesn't even look like it belongs on this planet. According to the Biology Dictionary, this enormous insect is one of the largest beetles in the world. It's easily recognised by its long pincers and massive body. The Hercules Beetle is a type of rhinoceros beetle, all of which are armoured monsters known for their brute strength. But while most rhinoceros beetles can only lift around 30 times their own body mass, the Hercules beetle can carry an outstanding 850 times its own mass. Crunch those numbers and the Hercules beetle becomes the strongest living thing on the planet. Imagine if you weighed 150 pounds and could carry 127 500 pounds on your back. Do you understand why it's called the Hercules beetle now? Putting their ridiculous strength aside, Hercules beetles are also famous for the way they fight. They use their massive pincers to battle each other to try and claim a female. Because male Hercules beetles are attracted both chemically and audibly to females, a single lady beetle will often draw a whole herd of male Hercules beetles, who will then battle each other for the right to breed. Whoever said the animal kingdom isn't romantic? Number 9. Devil's Flower Mantis the Devil's Flower Mantis is one of the most legendary species of mantis. It has an amazing colour scheme that makes it look like a dried out leaf when it's young, but then brightens into shades of green and white once in adulthood. This mantis is also ridiculously huge. I mean, it's not the size of a dog or anything, but it's pretty sizeable when you look at other types of mantis. This particular species lives in Africa and mostly in Tanzania. There is no denying these are some of the creepiest and strangest insects in the world. Each one has a big shield on its back, four long and skinny legs, and the two long arms that makes the mantis so infamous for their kung fu skills. But other than the way it looks, there isn't really that much extraordinary about the Devil's Flower Mantis. They are extremely expensive, and they are one of the most favourite exotic insect pets. They are difficult to breed, they can grow to be around 10cm tall, and unless you already knew it was there, you'd never find it in the wild. Have you ever seen a praying mantis in person? Have you ever held one? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell for more amazing animal videos, and let me know what you'd like to see in future videos. Number 8. Panda Ant Who doesn't want to hug a panda bear? They are black, white and cuddly all over. But what about the panda ant? It's furry too, right? But this little critter is actually a wasp, and you shouldn't touch a wasp, probably ever if you can help it. While the male panda ant has wings and looks a lot more like our notion of a wasp, the female does not have wings, 
looks just like a little itty bitty furry panda, and has a nasty stinger that can send you skipping away in horrible agony. Its other nickname is Cow Killer, but its sting isn't the deadliest or the most painful, which just goes to show how extreme they can be. Native to South America, they are parasitic and belong to a family of wasps known as Multilidae. There are around 7,000 of them whose females resemble large furry ants. Also known as velvet ants, they can be found in all kinds of colours, and while they are pretty and very interesting, you should stay clear from this creepy deceiving wasp. Number 7. Giant Waterbug The giant waterbug is creepy, strange, ugly, and absolutely fascinating. The North American species of giant waterbug can grow to be around 2.5 inches in length. However, South American giant waterbugs can grow to be a full 4 inches in length. Everything in the jungle is always bigger, but what makes the giant waterbug so strange is the way it carries its eggs. They typically live just below the surface of lakes and ponds, where they are known to nibble on the toes of unsuspecting swimmers. But if you were to look down and see the giant waterbug with all of the eggs growing out of its back, you would be absolutely disgusted. Or fascinated. I suppose it depends who you are. You see, the female waterbug will deposit her eggs on the back of her mate. The male waterbug will then care for the eggs for a full two weeks while they come to term on its back. During those two weeks, the male waterbug must protect the eggs from predators and keep them healthy. Basically, the female dumps the babies with the father and then runs away and leaves him to do all the work. Number 6. Australian Walking Stick the Australian walking stick actually looks a lot like the devil's flower mantis, but in a way, it's even stranger. For those who don't know, walking sticks are all native to Australia. They are all herbivores, and they all look super similar to praying mantises. However, they are not even a little bit related. According to the Oregon Zoo, the biggest difference is that mantises are carnivores and will eat other insects, and walking sticks are herbivores and will only eat leaves. The Australian walking stick lives in eucalyptus trees and eats their leaves. They are indistinguishable from sticks, which is obviously where they get their name, and males are able to fly but females are not. Females still have wings, but their wings don't actually work. You might say they got a pretty bum deal. An interesting fact is that females can lay up to 200 eggs over a period of just a few months. But this is an important ability considering the lifespan of an Australian walking stick is only between 10 and 12 months. Number 5. Kalita Silk Moth Caterpillar The Kalita Silk Moth Caterpillar is native to the southwest of the United States, where it feeds almost entirely on purple sage. They operate pretty much the same as any other caterpillar, and that in itself is enough to earn them a place on the list of strangest bugs. When they are born, they are tiny little black insects, just a few millimetres long and completely black. However, as they grow, they begin to change colour. The silk moth caterpillar will first turn yellow and eventually become a very dark green as they get fatter and fatter in preparation for doing what caterpillars do best, metamorphosis. These particular caterpillars will begin to make a silk cocoon amidst the leaves that it enjoys eating. After hanging out in the cocoon for a little while, the Kalita silk moth caterpillar is no longer a caterpillar, but a beautiful black and green silk moth with fantastic colours and patterns, and a pair of impressive wings. The whole transformation from tiny black caterpillar to a fat green caterpillar, and finally to a huge silk moth is strange and captivating in its complexity. Number 4. Giant Wetter The Giant Wetter is arguably the worst bug on the planet. It's definitely earned itself the title of the ugliest. According to Science Magazine, New Zealand has more than 80 different species of wetter insects, but the giant wetter is the biggest and the ugliest. In fact, wetter in the indigenous language of the Maori means god of ugly things, so you can imagine how terrible this pesky bug really is. The story of the giant wetter goes back 65 million years. After the extinction of the dinosaurs, small furry creatures began to explode all over the planet. However, because New Zealand had split away from other land masses 15 million years before the extinction, they ended up without any mammals except for a single bat. This caused biodiversity to take an entirely different form. Without mammalian predators, flightless birds and insects were able to expand dramatically. This is how the giant wetter came to be such a dominant creature on the island. There are 11 species of giant wetter in New Zealand. Basically, instead of rats, cats and other predatory animals, these gross insects just kept getting bigger and bigger without anything to challenge them. Number 3. Leafhopper The leafhopper is definitely one unique insect. You can find leafhoppers hanging out on all kinds of different plants. They are an invasive species that inadvertently destroys plant life by sucking sap out of the plants they live on, destroying chlorophyll, transmitting diseases and eventually curling leaves. 
Whichever plant the leafhopper decides to live on inevitably takes on quite a bit of damage. Though not from a single leafhopper, it takes a whole gang of them to make a plant wither. There are a few different types of leafhoppers, and they are all specific to what kind of plants they hang out on. For example, the apple leafhopper does some serious damage to apple foliage by making it pale and speckled with white spots. Then there is the beet leafhopper, which is a carrier of a viral disease that curls sugar beet leaves and stunts the growth of the plant. Also, a beet leafhopper is able to infect tomato, cucumber, spinach and other types of garden variety plants. Basically, for every plant there is a leafhopper, and each leafhopper is evolved to destroy its particular plant. According to Britannica, the grape leafhopper eats developing leaves on grapevines in Virginia creepers, while the potato leafhopper causes potato leaves to turn brown and curl. Number 2. Filbert Weevil Weevils are pretty freaky bugs. The immediate thing that stands out with a filbert weevil is its super long snout, properly referred to as a rostrum. Weevils are part of the largest beetle family in the world, with over 45,000 different living species. That means that weevils are the biggest and most widely spread family in the animal kingdom. Most weevils just look like generic insects, but the one thing they all have in common is their weird eyeballs. Each kind of weevil has a shiny pair of dark black eyes that are unmistakable. No matter how different their bodies are built, or how differently coloured they are, they all have the same black eyes. But perhaps the strangest weevil of all is the filbert weevil, which is a pest of oak trees. There is nothing overly special about the filbert weevil, other than its super long nose. It does basically the same thing other weevils do, which is damage plants that humans like. Aside from the filbert weevil, the most famous weevil is named the boll weevil, and it absolutely loves ruining cotton crops. Number 1. Bullet Ant Known as the world's most painful insect, getting bitten by a bullet ant is something you never want to experience. Native to the rainforests of Central and South America, the small but powerful bullet ant is also known as the Homiga 24, meaning the 24-hour ant, which refers to the full day of pain that follows after being stung. Only a little over an inch in length, it is hard to believe that their sting can feel like getting shot with a bullet. Why is this necessary? Why does the ant cause so much pain? Dr. Justin Schmidt, an entomologist and research director of the Southwest Biological Institute in Tuscan, Arizona, invented the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, which categorizes the level of pain felt when stung by wasps, bees, and ants. He let himself get stung by all kinds of insects in order to rate their sting. He said that it really felt like getting hit by a bullet with waves of burning pain that were absolutely excruciating and went on for hours. The good thing is that it is a localised effect and this sting does not directly affect your heart or lungs, so you won't die from it, but it will hurt like a biatch. These ants are greatly feared across the rainforest by people and animals alike. However, there are several indigenous tribes that use these ants in their initiation rituals. Young boys wishing to be seen as men by the tribes must endure placing their hand in a woven glove filled with these ants. They must endure getting stung repeatedly for at least 10 minutes. If that wasn't enough, the boy must sometimes go through over a dozen of these rituals. None of them suffer long-term effects, although the trauma may last forever. Which of these bugs is the weirdest? Have you ever seen any of these in real life? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you for watching, and see you again soon for another fun video. Be sure to subscribe for all the latest from the channel. See you next time.